If you turn on the television or look at your Facebook feed, it's very clear that we live in a broken world. There's a lot of death, a lot of disease and suffering. But we also see traces of beauty, like the beauty of a sunset or the laugh of a child. And that's because God's design was perfect when He made it. There was no death or disease or suffering. But starting with the very first people, we as humans chose to go our own way and leave God's perfect design. And that's called sin. And, and sin is what led to brokenness in our world and us and sinfulness. Well, we don't like to be in brokenness, this state that we're born in. So we try to get out. So for some, they try to get out on their own by climbing the ladder of success at work or school, thinking that'll get them out. Others try to get out themselves by doing good things or being religious and going to church and helping people. And while those are great things, they, they don't get us out of brokenness. Some try to drown out the brokenness with drugs and alcohol or attempts at suicide or, or maybe even relationships. And these attempts to get out of brokenness ourselves end up snapping us back in like a bungee cord. But God loved us so much, He didn't want us to stay in brokenness. So He did for us what we could not do for ourselves. He provided the only way out. And that is through His Son, Jesus. You see, Jesus came down into our world and allowed Himself to be killed on a cross, taking on our sin. And three days later, He rose from the dead. And He declared that if anyone would turn from their way and surrender to Him and believe that Jesus came and died on the cross and rose from the dead, and would be willing to make Him their King or their Lord, that they would be forgiven and made new. and would then be able to experience God's perfect design for their life. Now I want to ask you, which of these two would you say you're in? Are you still in brokenness? Or have you repented and believed in Jesus and are now back in His design? Okay, you're in brokenness. Well, which one of these two do you want to be in? Okay, great. Well, is there anything that keeps you from turning from your way and believing in the gospel of Jesus and making Him your Lord, your King. Okay, great. You know, when I chose to make this decision, I prayed a simple prayer, very similar to this picture. I just told God that I'm sorry for my sin, that I left your design, and for the ways that I've tried to get out of brokenness on my own. I'm ready to turn from my way and surrender to you, and I believe that this is true. And I want to make you my Lord so I can become new and experience your design for my life. Is that something you'd like to do? And then just pray with them. So this is the Three Circles Gospel Presentation.